Hi everyone! Today we're going to take a look at the integration between our plugins Yeet Booking and Appointment for WooCommerce and Yeet WooCommerce Deposit Down Payments. With this integration, you can allow customers to pay a deposit first for their bookable products and then pay the balance later, a specific time range before the booking begins or on the same day it does. Before we get into it, please remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's get to it. You can use the integration between Yid Booking and Appointment for WooCommerce and Yid WooCommerce Deposits Down Payments to allow customers to pay a deposit when booking instead of paying for the entire booking at once. Here's how. After installing and activating both plugins, make sure you enable the Deposits Down Payments plugin features in Yid, Deposits Down Payments, General Options, Deposit Options. Here, enable Deposit on all products. And then you're going to configure the plugin according to your needs. For example, you can set the deposit as optional, forced, you're going to find a lot of options to configure. What I'm interested in right now is this option, default deposit. This is the default deposit that we're going to charge customers for all of the products in the shop. But this option, of course, can be overridden at a product level. Let's set the default deposit to 50. And here you can set either $50, so that's a fixed amount, or 50%. So you have two options, fixed amount or rate. I'm going to select rate, 50% there. Now I'm going to save options. In the next sub tab, balance options, you can enable the option to request a balance payment to customers. By enabling this option, you're going to get this new option to define when to request the balance payment to the customers. So you have several options. You have on a specific date, on a specific range of days from the deposit. These two options are already included in the deposits down payment plugin on its own, but the integration with booking and appointment adds these two new options. On the booking start date and on a specific time range before the booking start date. This is a great new feature already used by popular websites like Airbnb that request the balance payment seven days before the booking start date, for example. Now let's set that time frame. I'm going to request the balance payment a specific time range before the booking start date. And that's why we see this other option, require the balance payment and we're going to set this to seven days before the booking start date. Once you're done configuring the deposits down payments options, you can save the options and you can show your customers the deposit information on the product pages. Let's go over to the site. Here we have the message. In this apartment, we set custom deposit options, pick an end date in the form to see how it works. We have the deposit percentage, which is 50%. And we have when customers have to pay for the balance. I added these messages manually. You can create your own global notice to show in the plugin settings or create a different notice for each product at a product level. Let's select a day to book in about two weeks, just for one day. The total is $200, but I'm being forced to pay the deposit which is 50%, $100. And right below, I see that the balance payment has to be paid on January 18. That is seven days before the booking start date. I'm being forced to pay a deposit because that's what I configured. Now let's go back to the dashboard. And here in general options, deposit options, you see that I have forced selected, but I'm going to select optional. And here we can choose if we want to show the deposit option selected by default or not. I'm going to leave it selected by default. Save options. Back to the site. Refresh. So now if I select the same date, now I have the option to pay a deposit 
this option as you can see is selected by default and then I'm going to pay the balance on January 18 or I can simply choose to pay the full amount which is $200 at once when I'm booking the apartment. Now another thing to take into account is that you can decide when the bookings with deposits are automatically set to paid. You can find this option in YID, Booking an Appointment, Settings, Card and Orders. Right here you have the YID WooCommerce Deposits and Down Payments Integration section and you can set the bookings as paid, when the deposit order is paid or when the balance order is paid. Okay, so that's how the integration works. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and we'll meet again for our next video.